Hey everyone, I'm Game Changer Coach Robert Cavono, and today we're going to talk about meal frequency. Uh, specifically the question, how many meals should I eat each day? Uh, both for fat loss and for muscle gain, but more specifically for fat loss because that seems to be the goal for most people. Um, and what I like to do with these videos is not only to give you information, but to address specific uh, myths that have really perpetuated themselves uh, throughout the fitness industry that I kind of want to tackle. And this is a big one. And it's one of those myths that uh, for whatever reason got very popular and because people took it as truth and as gospel it made their, their fitness journey, their fat loss journey a lot more difficult, a lot more challenging and it really makes people do a lot of unnecessary work and doing unnecessary work makes your journey uh, even harder and if there's more obstacles in your way there's going to be a much less chance that you're going to stick to your goal and work really hard to try to get there. So I think this is a very important a topic to address, so I hope you guys get something out of it. So when we talk about how many meals you should eat per day, the most important thing when it comes to fat loss or muscle gain, the most important thing, the thing that will probably be responsible for 95% of your results when it comes down to nutrition, really is your total food intake for the day. So your total calorie intake by the end of the day, your total nutrient intake by the end of the day. How you choose to split that up is really your business. It's almost completely up to you. Now, we can talk about some factors that may have a small impact and why they may uh, indirectly impact your muscle gain or fat loss, but to be 100% honest, I promise you this, the most important thing is just the total food that you eat by the end of the day, not how you choose to divvy it up. Now, what appears to have given people the best results um, based on regulating their hunger and allowing people to get in the, ne the necessary nutrients and uh, calories is somewhere in the range of three to five meals per day. So if you're a smaller person, let's say maybe 150 pounds or less, three meals seems to be a good sweet spot. Um, if you're maybe closer to 200 pounds, it could be four meals and above, um, let's say about five meals. Those are That's just a range that you can kind of slot yourself into, but three to five seems to work pretty well for people as far as are regulating their hunger and helping them get in the necessary nutrients and calories they need. Now, it appears that there seems to be some correlation uh, with success, uh, with body fat loss, with consistency of the meals that you eat per day. So if you pick a number, three, four, or five, or somewhere around there, maybe pick three one day, four another day, etc., whatever the case, as long as you have some kind of consistency from day to day with your meal frequency, uh, you seem to have better success over the long run rather than uh, having big swings, maybe one day you have three, one day you have seven, and so forth. So anywhere between three to five really should be fine, um, and just finding a good consistent pattern, and making sure that the total food intake by the end of the day is what's most important. Now what you'll pretty much almost always hear from people is that you need small frequent meals, six to eight meals a day, uh, particularly for fat loss because you want to uh, stoke the metabolic fire. And so here I have uh, an analogy that's, that's frequently used, is that uh, you need food to speed up the metabolism, to stoke the metabolism, just like you need to be constantly throwing wood on a furnace to stoke the fire to keep it going. And although that sounds like a cool analogy when you hear it, it kind of makes sense to you, oh, okay, just like you need to keep putting wood on the fire to make it burn, it only makes sense that I need to keep eating so that my metabolism is fast and keeps on going. Although it makes sense and it's a nice little analogy, um, it's, that just is not how the body works. And that's something that you'll hear a lot that will perpetuate these myths. A uh, kind of analogy that seems kind of cool and seems like it would make sense within the processes of, of, the processes of your body, but in reality, that's just not how it works. So although a, a saying might seem fancy, you got to look a little deeper. you got to look at the evidence and uh, to see what's actually, you know, what's really important and what's real and what's just myth. And what I'm going to link down below is a recent meta-analysis done on um, many studies uh, showing body fat loss. So it, it examined a bunch of uh, fat loss studies and the meal frequency and tried to determine uh, is there an ideal me meal frequency to help with fat loss. And what they come up, came up with was that for the most part, no, there wasn't. There was actually one study that showed a significant difference when somebody ate um, more frequently, but that was really only one study out of a bunch. Uh, so the authors kind of concluded that there really wasn't enough evidence to say that more frequent meals uh, would be helpful for fat loss. One amendment that I will make is that, something that I wrote here, that there is evidence to show that for muscle gain, uh, you will get probably an extra benefit by having at least three protein feedings a day. 
So if you are trying to get stronger, are trying to put on some muscle mass, then I definitely would recommend at least three meals a day with protein in them. Um, like I said before, meal frequency isn't as important as your total intake for the day. Three to five seems to be like the most important. But again, if you wanted to lose body fat and you wanted to make that one or two meals a day, if that's something that you could actually stick to and that could kind of help curb your hunger and help you reach that, that total food intake goal, then one to two meals if that works for you and helps you keep that intake, then I say go for it. Give it a shot. But if your um, goal is muscle gain, then I would definitely aim for at least three protein beans a day. So once again, hopefully putting that myth to bed, at least for you folks who are taking the time to watch this video. Uh, meal frequency is not as important as the total food intake by the end of the day. Whatever you do, just make a normal amount. Three to five should be fine. Try to keep it as consistent as you can from day to day. And whatever helps you get that total uh, food intake where you need to be and you should be just fine. Don't overthink these things. A lot of times these myths just make things a lot more complicated than they really need to be. I'm Game Changer Coach Robert Gavono, and we'll talk to you next time.